In the last video, we fitted a simple buzzer to remind the driver to turn off the side lights when leaving the car. It did the job, but had a few minor drawbacks. You might want to watch that video first if you haven't already seen it. In this video, we'll fit a slightly more advanced version. This is a side lights warning unit. It's designed for negative earth cars. If we connect power to pin 2 and earth pin 3, it chimes. Pin 1 is a mute pin. If we put power on pin 1 while the chime is sounding, it mutes it. We'll mount the unit using a relay socket. We'll connect it using a red wire for pin 2, the power terminal, brown and black for pin 3, the earth terminal, and green for pin 1, the mute terminal. It draws very little current, so 16.5 amp cable will be more than enough. We'll use uninsulated spade connectors with a retaining lug. These will lock onto the relay socket. We'll cut off the red wire at about 10 and a half inches and fit a bullet connector. The same with the black and brown wire at about 13 inches. We'll cut off the green wire at about 26 inches and fit a piggyback spade connector. We can mount the relay socket under the dash with an M4 bolt. Let's take a look at the circuit diagram. We can connect pin 2 with the red wire to a spare connector on the lighting circuit. Now the unit will be powered whenever the lights are on. But of course it won't chime unless we earth pin 3. We can do that by connecting pin 3 with the black and brown wire to a spare connector on the interior light door switches. That wire is earthed whenever a door is open. Now the unit will chime whenever we open a door with the side lights on. At this stage, the unit will behave exactly the same as the simple unit we fitted in the previous video. And it will still have a couple of the same drawbacks. Firstly, if we pull up to drop off a passenger and the lights are on, the unit will chime when the passenger opens the door. Secondly, the door switches are in parallel with the interior light switch. If we turn on the interior light when the side lights are on, the unit will chime, which we don't want. We can get around these drawbacks by using a rectifier. A rectifier is like a one-way valve for electricity. It simply lets the electricity flow in one direction, but not the other. We'll solder a bullet connector to each end. We'll test it to make sure we didn't fry it with the soldering iron. Here the electricity can flow and sound the buzzer. If we turn it around, the electricity is blocked and the buzzer doesn't work. We'll put the rectifier into the circuit here and add a double connector here. We connect the black and brown wire from the unit to here. 
The driver's door switch can turn on the interior light because the rectifier permits the flow of electricity in this direction. But neither the courtesy light switch nor the passenger door switch can make the unit chime because the electricity would have to flow in the other direction and the rectifier prevents that. Instead of going directly to the spare connector, find the wire from the driver's door switch and unplug it. Plug in the rectifier. And fit a double connector to the other end. Now plug the wires from the door switch and the wire from the unit into the connector. Now we'll use the piggyback spade connector to join the green wire from pin 1 to an ignition circuit on the back of the speedometer. Pin 1 is the mute terminal, so this will prevent the unit from chiming under any circumstance when the ignition is on. Finally, we'll tidy up with a few cable ties. Now let's try it out. We'll start the engine and turn the lights on. We open the door, there's no chime. If we turn the engine off and try to leave the car when the lights are on, the chime sounds. The interior light doesn't cause the chime to sound under any condition, nor does the passenger door. If you don't get the results you're expecting, you probably put the rectifier in back to front and just need to reverse it. And that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.